hello friends in this tutorial we are going to solve a very interesting problem find sum of digits using recursion so we have a number uh, now suppose a number is one two three and we have to find the sum of its digits so sum of uh, one two three if i say uh, the uh, number one two three has three digit uh, one two and three if we do the sum of 1, 2 and 3, then their sum is 6. So in this tutorial, we are going to solve this problem using recursion. In my previous tutorial, I have explained how you can do the sum of uh, digits using iterative approach, using while loop. The link of uh, that video, I will mention them in uh, description box. So in my previous tutorials i have already explained what is recursion why base condition is important in recursion let's revisit it so in recursion a function call itself until the base condition or terminating condition is reached and the base condition is very important in recursion until the function if we don't define the base condition then the function will call itself infinitely until it gets stack overflow error so let's uh, discuss the approach to solve this problem so uh, <coughs> we have to do the sum of each digits of its number and we have to do it recursively so let's uh, sh show you the code and then I'll uh, explain how this going to be work so this is my main method and in which I have called sum of digits method and pass the value 1 to 3 so this is my base condition if number gets 0 then I uh, the value of number gets 0 then I return 0 until I what I am doing is I am taking remainder of each number and then reduces the value of number so this is how I, I have called sum of digits and pass the value 1 to 3 so in next so when number is not equal to zero definitely so number is here number is not equal to zero okay so this uh, this statement will going to execute so if i say the remainder of one two three if we do the uh, division by ten and check the remainder then it's three and if i divide by 10 then number reduces to 12 so now after uh, this statement this statement is going to be in pause state and it calls a uh, next step and uh, what is the next step so we have passed sum of digits 12 then the remainder of 12 is 2 and sum of digits the number reduces to 1 so again it goes to pause state <coughs> then after that we have a uh, remainder if we div division divide the number 1 by 10 then we get the remainder 1 and the sum of digits is 0 and it's going to be in pause state but see if i pass 0 then this condition going to be true number equal to equal to 0 then it returns 0 so return 0 i mean this function will wait to get the value i mean to get the return value so it gets zero so this will execute like this one plus zero so it return one this statement i mean this method call is waiting to get the value from this uh, function call so it returns the one and two plus one is three similarly for this 3 plus 3 is 6 so we get uh, this value uh, 6 so uh, same thing which I have explained in my previous tutorial that in recursion the function call will be maintained in a stack so the element which push last at the stack is the first to be popped out so this uh, method call is the top of the stack so it returns 0 then this function will return the value and then uh, next function will 
uh, get the value and then it returns the value and at last this to be popped out and the value we get is 6 so if I run this code see my uh, output is 6 uh, let's change it to 1 2 3 4 so if I run this code see I get the answer 10 so I will mention all the code link in the description box and please make sure you can uh, check the description box and that's it for this video thanks for uh, watching this video tutorial for more such video tutorial you can subscribe our channel and if you like this video then definitely share with your friends like it and thanks for watching it